Unplug the steering lock. All right, so this van life couple spent over $1,300 plus the cost of towing their van to three different dealerships, all for a simple no start issue, which they could have fixed using one of these devices right here, which costs about 40 bucks. So today I'm gonna to show you this can bypass your immobilizer using just a little chip and maybe a big hammer. This little device can help you fix a no start issue on your Sprinter van. In order to make sure that this is in fact the solution, you want to make sure you're hearing the little sound when you insert your key. Hear that sound, that little... I'll show it one more time just to be clear. Okay, that circuit, that sound is the sound of the circuit being completed that assists you with the steering lock. So I'm going to unplug the steering lock right now. And notice you're not going to hear that sound. Putting the key in. No sound no vroom sound. Makes sense? There's no way you can turn it, all right? So here's where I unplug the steering lock in order to simulate what happens when a steering lock goes bad. So essentially, a broken steering lock will act in exactly the same way as one that is unplugged, in that you can put the key in, you won't hear any sound when you put the key in, and the key won't turn. Those are two um, big indicators that your steering lock has gone bad. And what makes this so tough to diagnose is that it's really tough to pull codes off of a vehicle with your code scanner if you can't get that ignition on. A lot of the modules turn on when that ignition key is turned. This device assists you in completing the circuit and bypassing your immobilizer. One actually. All right, device is in. Now notice you're not gonna hear the but. Vehicle starts, and notice again, this baby's unplugged, but it is working. Steering lock is still on though. In summary, what we did here was we took this little plug out of the steering lock. This is the steering lock right here, okay? Well, this this is the entire entirety of it right here. It sits on your steering column, and it controls, it has a little pin in it that, um, it's sort of an anti-theft mechanism. The pin goes in when you're in park so that you can't turn the wheel, all right? This is the plug we unplugged, and we put our emulator, this thing right here, we put it, we put the plug into the emulator instead of the steering lock. So the computer, aka, or in this case, the immobilizer, an electronic ignition switch, thinks that you did, in fact, unlock your steering lock, and so it allows you to turn your key. So you've got your key turned, you got the engine running, you're good, except your steering wheel still can't turn because the steering lock is still locked, even though the immobilizer thinks it isn't. So here's where the hammer comes in or some kind of uh, destructive tool. You're going to need to get the little pin, you're gonna to need to get the little pin out of the steering lock in order for you to be able to turn your steering wheel. Now. Sprinter Experts, the YouTube channel Sprinter Experts, has a very good video showing you how to do this already. I'll put a link to that video either here or down below, or maybe at the end of the video as well, wherever YouTube lets me put it. Now, a few more things. One, if you go to eBay to purchase these, this one, EC, uh, keyecu.com, is a piece of crap. I haven't gotten it to work. This one, the one that says MKB on it, works like a charm. I haven't had any issues with it so far. Now, this is only one component of your of the entirety of the immobilizing system. So you have if you're having issues with key transponders or other things of that nature, this is not a substitute for that. If you are having other no start issues, go ahead and look at my channel. I'll have more videos on this topic as we go along. And as always, fix your own shit.